Go YouTube, Chuck's here with my uh, spot welder, homemade. One, I've made it myself. Now you've seen it in the past, but uh, I made a bit of a mistake. When I originally uh, did the setup, I used a DC power pack. It needed an AC power pack, so I've got a 20, 20 volt uh, 2 amp power pack. Now, if you have not played with electronics or especially electrical stuff, if you're a kid, don't don't build this yourself. Get a parent to help you or get someone who's qualified to help you. Do not touch 2 amps. In fact, 10 milliamps across your heart will kill you. And don't even th think of that. Um, it's not a good thing. So um, I'm just going to say a disclaimer here. Do not do this. If you are a kid, if you are not qualified as a technician or as a, someone that has some knowledge of electronics and can do this without causing any shocks or harms, I take no responsibility for if you do this yourself. Now, pop that in there. So that's a 20, 20 amp, correction, 2 amp, 20 volt power supply. Now... I got a nice guy from, um, I think it was Czechoslovakia, put me onto it. I can't pronounce your name. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, I don't know Russian. It looks like it's in Russian, but maybe I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I've um, stuffed that up as well. Anyway, let's plug the thing in, have a quick look. Pretty much, it's all built, ready to go. So, let's plug it in now. Okay, so if you get an AF on your screen and nothing else, you're only running DC. So, I can adjust this to whatever range I want to do. And how much, I'm not sure. I've still got to look it up a little bit more what these two dials do. One controls how long and then the other one will control the ampage. Now, if you come over this way, You've got your two prongs here. I'm not, I've got nothing on at the moment, so I made those myself. They're very close together. Now I'll try and find an old battery, which I should have had on, on hand straight away. Okay, I'm gonna heat the dead, dead cells. So I'm going to just arc two together. I've got two here. So move my Superman glove. I actually added a little bit to the old Superman glove. I added a near near mini near. Bleh, I'm having one of those days. A magnet <laughs> to one end near the very uh, good ones. So now I'm going to see. First, I'm going to do a test run. I'm just going to press the button, and it ain't. Well, that's good. So it's not really, I'm not sure if it's putting out enough. Ooh, that's really good. It's done it. Just charged it up. So if I drop the current, and we'll go to the other side of the battery. So I've got them really tied up. And I just come down here. Now, what I'm thinking I might do is I might put a plug to the front here, have these connected to that plug, and then off they go. And that way I can put a handpiece onto it, which uh, I think is a good idea. If you think it's a good idea, leave me a comment below. I don't know whether I can get down close enough to, to let you see this. Um, I'm just going to pause. And okay. Let's have a look. Let's see if this is going to work. Gotta pull the uh, sewing machine uh, pedal across because I've got that hooked in as well. Oop. See that? Now that's overly welded it. I had a pretty shitty piece of material here. I'm going to pause and get a good piece and see how we go. So the bit I've grabbed 
is out of Makita drill. It's very thick. Let's see if it can do that. I'll bring the, the uh, voltage up. See if I can get about 80 into it. We'll see if it uh, does the job. Oh, it's actually arced to the top, but not to the bottom. Oh, it's gotten a fair bit of temperature into it. So, not sure whether this is going to really work at this. No, I need a thinner piece. That's too thick. I've got hold of a smaller piece. I don't know whether you can see that very well. Yep, it's very thin. So now it should just go on. Let's get it in position. No, it didn't char charge it. It didn't uh, weld it very well. Cut right through it, actually, which is probably not a good thing. Um, I still need to play with the dial. Um, I know that it will work, just have to set it down a little bit. I'll just drop that down to about 60. We'll see what happens on 60 with 15 as the uh, bottom mark. So it's, it's welded the top bit. Try the bottom bit. Well, definitely not doing that piece. Very good. It's getting very hot very quickly. We'll try again.